welcome back to another Cinema 4D tutorial. Uh, this one we're talking about how to use the uh, camera, doing good camera follow in your animation. So whether you have a scene where a car is driving or a character is moving, um, you know, there's a couple different ways to do this, but the best way to do it, um, I'm going to show you. So let's just go ahead and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to jump in my top view and I'm just going to draw just a big linear spline and leave it as such and for this case I'm just gonna grab a cube and I'm gonna give it a uh, tag to align to this particular spline so I'm just gonna drag it into my spline path and now you'll see when I adjust position it's moving along my spline so for this uh, animation let's just up the uh, frame length to something like six seconds and I'm going to start my position at zero and then I'm going to make it go to 100 at the last frame. So we just have this simple, this could be like a car driving animation. So we could grab a camera and now what we want to do is we want to set a, a target. We want our target to be the cube that's driving. So you'll notice now if I play, okay, we're doing a good fixed follow here but we don't have anything dynamic happening with that. That's just kind of a basic aerial pan move of the camera in a fixed position. So what we could do is we could align it to the spline and have it pull away at a variable um, position so that it's moving. But a better way to do that is just to go to camera and add a constraint tag. And then we're gonna clamp this and we're gonna add the cube as our clamp. So what this is going to do is it's going to keep a fixed distance from the cube of whatever I set down here in my distance. So if I go to like 1039 centimeters, if I scroll around and move, you'll notice I can pick different positions now or orientations, but it's keeping that distance from the cube. So if I play this, you're going to notice it's going to keep that position and follow it the whole way. So now we've got kind of a more interesting um, camera follow move. And we can now move this camera around uh, independently so we can have more of a, a top down view, um, something like that. So that now when this thing plays, play it here. Now we've got the top view. That's not great. Maybe what we want to do is we want to put our camera um, to the top and a little bit to the side. So kind of like if you're doing a car follow, you don't want to show too much of that roof panel. Um, so if we do something like that, now we've got kind of a traditional um, follow there. So it's just kind of an interesting way to play around with and getting just an easy way to do a follow of an animation. And, um, you know, obviously this, this could require a little bit more tweaking if I'm going for a specific type of follow move. Um, like I would probably have to keyframe my camera's position in that first position up here so that it would know for that first frame to reset there because right now it's resetting to this position. So I would probably just have to come up and, uh, and just keyframe that initial state. And then from there, it'll, it'll play my follow move. And then once it's through the timeline, it'll return to that position. So it's just been kind of a quick tutorial on how to do camera follow moves inside of Cinema 4D. Thanks for watching.